Hi, this is Keith from Fields BMW of Daytona Beach. Today I want to give you a little tip on how to save your seat memory uh, and your profile to your key. So what you want to do is when you're in your car, uh, keeping only one key in the vehicle at a time. If you have the second uh, key, you need to keep it maybe in the house uh, so many feet away from the vehicle so it doesn't get confused and overwrite both keys. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to set your seat memory, your uh, mirrors, everything to your uh, per personal liking. Um, you'll hit the set button on the side in this car in particular. On some vehicles it's on the seat. Um, and then all you're going to do is hold down number one or number two. What that's going to do is going to set the driver's seat in current position as seat number one as you see. Secondly, what you'll want to do is go into profiles, pick profile number one or two depending on the key, and just want to make sure last seat position automatic is checked off. That way the car will know when you get back in with this key to return everything to the, to the position that you want. Now the last thing, and this is the most important step, is that you want to make sure you're going to lock and unlock the vehicle with that key that you're using. And that will permanently uh, save that setting and profile to this key. Um, and then you just repeat it when you have the second key in the car and you'll be all set to go. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And if you need anything, give us a call or an email here at Fields BMW Daytona Beach.